Hey, my Pilates people, welcome to Connect and Move. My name is Jessica. Today I'll be taking you through a workout on the spine corrector or Pilates arc, whichever one you may have. Um, you will need a pole or you can always use a towel, um, preferably something longer, I guess something longer than a hand towel. And then um, if you are familiar, if you have used your spine corrector before, right, sometimes it can kind of slide around. So if you have one of those like sticky pads or shelf liners, there can be helpful to put under so it doesn't slide around, um, but not required. So of course, you're gonna honor your body. You're gonna to listen to your body. If you need to make adjustments, you make adjustments, okay? So we're gonna start seated on the step. See what I mean? Slipping around. Seated on your step with your legs straight out in front of you. If sitting up tall on this step with the legs straight out just feels awkward, you can always bend your knees. So like I'm on this raised mat, so I'm gonna hook my heels on the edge of the mat here. The feet are flexed and your feet are about shoulder width distance apart thereabouts. So reach your arms straight out in front of you and then just find that tall lifted spine and think like you had the bar in your hands right now. So there's just kind of a little pull apart here. And I'll take a big expansive breath in and then on your exhale, start to curl the tailbone under, dig down through those heels. You're gonna roll back, roll back, yep. And then once your low back or just whatever part of your body hits that barrel, you're gonna roll yourself all the way up. All right, let's do that again. Find that long line here at the top. Roll the pelvis away from your thighs, energy out through your heels. Now when you touch the barrel, go back just a couple more inches and then roll yourself all the way up, 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 right? Try not to rest into the barrel. It's more of just a light touch. We're gonna roll back again, roll back, and now maybe three or five inches touches the barrel. And then roll yourself all the way up, up, up. You gotta keep that broad collarbone as you roll back. Think of lengthening back. Go back, go back, and now go back a little bit further to maybe the base of your ribs, touch, and then roll yourself all the way up, up, up. Starting to slip. All right, let's do that again. Roll yourself back. Keep that downward energy through the back of the legs and heels. Now, can you place your ribs or more of your ribs onto the barrel? Don't let the head rest. And then use your exhale to roll yourself all the way up, up, up. We have one more here. Keep the energy into the arms. Roll yourself back. Feel that pelvis wheel under you. Go back, stretch back. Maybe your gaze goes up more towards the ceiling now. And then again, use your exhale, nod your chin, roll yourself all the way up, up, up. All right, now just make sure that your hips are back at the edge of the step. And now I want you to roll yourself back. All right, so go back, feel the, whatever part of your back is into the barrel, right? Where again, we're not completely resting, we're trying to stay lifted. And now bring your knees into your chest. So you're in this tiny little ball here. Press your heels together, right? So find your inner thighs, but also find the back of your thighs. And now straighten your legs out to your working angle and just hold here. Let's go parallel for today and just reach the arms straight out in front of you and then just bend the knees all the way in. Again, inhale, send the legs out. You're of course more than welcome to hold on here. And then exhale, empty the lungs, knees come all the way in, in, in. Last one like this, stretch the legs out long and away. Think big toes or besties. And then exhale, empty the lungs, everything comes back in, in, in. All right, send the legs out and away. Feel not only your inner thighs, but some downward pressure through the back of the legs. Reach those arms straight out in front of you and start pumping here. Inhale and exhale. Now know if it gets to be too much holding the legs up, you can always place the feet down. We can always do one leg at a time. But one thing I want you to focus on is trying to stay light on the barrel, right? So tough. It's almost like you're doing a teaser or a hundred with your teaser. Strong pump with the arms. And each time you exhale, maybe you get a little bit deeper into that shape, a little bit taller. The collarbones are pulling apart still. Let's do 10. 
and five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and just lower everything down and then rock yourself back up. Take your feet back to that start position like we did for our roll up or roll back. Grab your pole. You can always do without this if it's too much on the shoulders. So same energy down through your heels. Reach that pole out in front of you. Hands are about shoulder width distance apart. Pull apart on that pole and then start to roll the pelvis back. Roll back, roll back. Think of like pushing that pole away. And you're gonna go back to maybe your bra strap, maybe just above if you're wearing one. And then use your exhale to roll yourself all the way up, up, up. I can already tell I gotta scoot forward if I'm gonna place my head on the barrel. So let's do that again. Roll yourself back, keep pushing the fists away, and then go back. Can you now go back and place your head on the barrel? If it's too much on your neck, then we need to scoot you down to where it doesn't feel any pressure on the neck. So from here, right on, my hands are above my shoulders, my ribs are trying to soften down into the barrel, keep the connection of the ribs to the barrel, and then I'll let the arms go back a little bit, just test the waters, and then lift the arms back up. Let's play with some breath. So inhale as you go back, and then exhale takes you up. Last one like this, inhale takes you back, keep drawing those ribs down, 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 and then exhale pulls you back up. Now we're gonna switch up the breath. So exhale, arms go back, and then inhale, arms go up. Exhale, arms go back, keep trying to break that bar, and then inhale the arms up. Two more like this. I'm even switching up the breath. <laughs> and then inhale up, Exhale, take the arms back, reach back, go back. Keep that slight knot of your chin. And then inhale the arms up. Last one like this. And then inhale the arms up. All right, so just go ahead and take that bar down. Place it down by your side. Reach the arms straight up to the ceiling. Let's go palms just facing in for now, okay? So nothing's gonna change with the shape of your spine. You're gonna reach your right arm back behind you as your left arm goes down and then lift the arms back up through center. They pass and feel like you're being stretched or pulled in two different directions with these arms. And think like you're doing like a, like a toy soldier action. Notice the more you focus on the ribs staying down and not lifting up, right? The harder it is, or it might limit your range and that's okay. Let's do two. And last one, bring those arms back above your shoulders, turn your palms facing like towards your thighs and think like you've got the bar in your hands again. So there's a little bit of pull apart, a little bit of energy. And then carefully on your exhale, you're gonna lift the weight of your head up and then roll yourself up. If you gotta grab onto those legs, you're gonna grab on. Okay, now zip the legs up together. And now we're gonna roll back, roll back, so find again that light touch of your body into the barrel and bring your right knee into your chest. Take your hands on your shin, push the shin up and into the hands and then send the left leg out long and away. All right, again, we stay light on that barrel. We switch legs and switch. So when you bring that leg in, there's a pull with the arms and a push up with the leg. So you're creating tension in your whole body. There's nothing that's not working right now. And can you keep trying to lift up off of that barrel? Let's do three. And two, elbows wide. Last one here. Good, now hug both knees into your chest. You can either be holding onto your shins or the back of your legs. Push the legs into the hands and send the legs out to your working angle. Still go parallel with those legs. Can you keep your legs exactly where they're at? Reach the arms up to the sky, out to the sides of the room, then back to your thighs, and then hug everything all the way in, in, in. Again, press the legs out and away. Find that light touch, arms go up. They go out, then to your thighs, 
and then stay lifted with your chest as everything comes all the way back in. One more like that, press the legs out and away, big toes or besties, arms go up, you lift higher, arms go out to the sides, then to your thighs, and then hug everything all the way in, in, in. Now straighten the legs up to the ceiling, hands go behind the right leg, left leg lowers down, push the leg into the hands, and then scissor switch, and switch. As the leg comes to you, think of lifting up taller. And let those inner thighs kiss as they pass in space. Your arms, once again, they're active and like they're doing just a steady hug. Let's do four. And three, reach the toes across the room. Two. Last one, and now bring both legs up to your 90, wherever you can, take the hands behind the head, push the head into the hands, lower the legs down and away, and then lift, 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 lift. Inhale takes them down, exhale, lift, 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 lift. You got it, inhale away, exhale, lift the legs up. Last one, now hold out there at that working angle, bring your right knee into your chest, left armpit up and over, crisscross and switch. Try your best not to sink into that barrel. <laughs> I'm kind of relying on it right now. Work deep into that twist, elbows wide. Hang in there with me, you got four. And three, lift, lift, lift. And two, you got it. And last one, place the feet down. Let your head go back. Think of just finding a good morning stretch. So let the ribs flare, reach the arms back behind you, and then circle the arms around. Find your thighs, lift your head, and roll yourself all the way up, up, up. All right, so let's now come seated back onto that step. <clears throat> Legs, again, they're either straight or the knees are bent. Dig your heels down into the mat. Flex your feet, so pull all 10 toes back. Reach the arms straight out in front of you. We're gonna do a little spine stretch and saw before we go back for a bridge, all right? So again, energy into those arms, take a big breath in, and then on your exhale, I want you to round up and over. So let your hips curl under, and almost like they were gonna slide back into that step. And then from tail to crown, stack your spine all the way up, up, up. Let's do that again, inhale, grow tall. Exhale, round up and over, up and over. Think abdomen drawing back, crown of the head reaching forward. And then from tail to crown, stack your spine all the way up that imaginary wall. Let's do that again. Big breath in at the top. Exhale again, nod your chin. Like you're peeling your spine away from that wall. Keep pulling those toes back, round up and over, round, 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 round. And then again, from tail to crown, push into those heels, roll yourself all the way up. Now keep this strong flat back and now float the arms all the way up and then lower them down. So remember, you're still stacked up against that wall. So can you keep the base of your ribs up against the wall as the arms come up and down? Let's do three. Find your upper back muscles, right? Think of that's what's lifting the arms. Two. And one, now hold with the arms lifted up high. We're gonna do a little transition with saw like this. So I want you to lift and twist to the left, all right, and just hold here. Feel like you're being wrung out like a wet washcloth, and then come back to center. We lift and twist to the right. We lift, 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 and then back to center. We lift and twist to the left. Lift, 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 now stay in the twist. Send the arms out to that letter T. We dive up and over, right pinky, left pinky toe. Lift that back arm up a little bit higher to deepen the twist. And now stay in the twist, stack your spine up tall, 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 and then come back to center. We raise the arms back up overhead. We lift and twist to the right. Go a little bit further, a little bit further. Arms go out to that strong letter T up and over. Lift that back arm up to deepen the twist and then stack the spine up tall. We come back through center. Now just keep the arms at a letter T. We spiral up to the left, up and over. 
Think of those ribs lifting off of that thigh or both thighs and then come back up through center. You got it, last one here. We spiral up, up and over. Push out through those heels, pull back through the ribs and then come all the way up through center. Stack your spine up tall and just lower the arms down. Shake it out, turn your head from right to left. All right, so now we're gonna roll back or kind of go back for some bridges. So make sure that you have enough room behind you to go back. I like to place one foot on the step and then the other leg is gonna come with me. So I'm gonna hold onto the sides or your step there or your handles and you're just gonna let yourself go back until where your shoulders are on the mat and you're holding on to either the handles or just some of one of these grooves. So there's no weight in your um, neck. It's all in your shoulders, all right? So now let's go ahead and place the feet down into that step about hip socket distance apart. And I want you to find as best of a tripod connection through the feet as you can, right? I know it's a small step. And then feel that your arms are doing kind of a, a pull action, but also with a chest expansion opening. So take a big expansive breath in, and then on your exhale, tilt your pubic bone back to your navel, sink the ribs down, push into your feet, and try to lift your hips up off the barrel. And if you're looking at me thinking she's not doing anything, it, it probably doesn't, but I'm working very hard to try to lift my hips off the barrel, and then I'm just gonna think of melting back down, right? Because you're already in hip extension here. So let's do that again. Find that long line out through the crown of your head, Try to lift those hips up, push down through the big balls of your feet, and then lower all the way down. If anything, you should be feeling maybe like a stretch on the top or activation through the back. So we have one more like this. Tilt your hips back, pull with the arms, lift, 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 find your inner thighs, and then go ahead and just lower all the way down. All right, so bring one knee into the chest, bring the other knee into the chest, and just resituate if you need. Okay, just make sure that you're not in your neck. So I want you to sink the ribs and whatever back you can into the corrector, and then pull your right knee in towards your right ear as your left leg shoots out long and away. Now, can you bring that leg below the plane of the hip since we have all that room? And then switch legs. Reach out and away and switch. But now remember, the lower that leg goes, the harder it's gonna be to keep the ribs down. So if you start to feel the ribs pop, right, we gotta stop. We gotta limit the range a little bit. Let's do five. Reach out and away through those big toes. And four. And three. And two. Let those inner thighs kiss. And last one, bring both knees into your chest. Find a little Pilates V for this one. Send the legs out and away and hold here. Sink the ribs down, sink the back down, and then bring the knees back into the chest. Again, inhale, send the legs away. Imagine you've got your legs in the springs. And then bend the knees all the way in. Again, inhale, send the legs out and away. And then exhale, empty the lungs, come all the way in. Last one like this, send the legs out and away, hold, find parallel, lower your right leg down as your left leg lifts up right to your center line, and then switch legs. And switch. So once again, that spine stays stable, that's gonna govern how much or how far you can move those legs. And for my tight people out there, Think of that leg getting straighter as it comes to you. Let's do five. You got it. And four. Check your neck, check your shoulders. Three. And two. And one. Bring those legs straight up to your 90. And now bring your left leg to you as your right leg lowers down. We're gonna do a little helicopter. So both legs are gonna spiral out to the sides of the room. Now my right leg is towards me, my left leg is away, and now bring the legs together. Right leg comes to me, left leg lowers down. They helicopter out to the sides of the room. Yep. And then bring the legs back up to center. Left leg to me, right leg down. Reach across the ends of the room. So find the sides of your hips here to open up the inner thighs and then zip the legs up. You got it, right leg to you, left leg down. 
They circle around, reach, 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 and then zip the legs up together at the top. Bend your knees in. Just again, take a little moment, maybe turn your head from right to left. And now we're gonna do a little corkscrew prep. So legs, zip them up together. And now bring your knees over to the right. And then just kind of send them away a little bit. They circle around over to the left side and then they come back to center. Circle the legs or shift the legs over to the left. They kind of circle around over to the right and then back to center. If you're good with this, stay with this. Otherwise, play around with lifting the hips up. So legs go to the right. They kind of circle around. They go up and over to the left. Little lift of the hips. Find center and then roll down that left side, right? Over to the right, find center. So it's like a little baby rollover. Hips lift, use the arms, and just make sure that chest is staying soft away from your chin. And it's that tilt of the pelvis back that's helping you lift those hips. Last one like this, so we roll over to the right, up the left side, find center, and go ahead and just roll down through center. Place your feet back down into that step. We're gonna go back to these bridges. So again, tilt your pelvis back to try to plant your ribs down, and now try to lift those hips up, right? Just feel some engagement through the back body. All right, keep the energy down into that left foot. Bring your right knee into your chest, straighten the leg up. We lower the leg down and up, down and up. Keep pushing down through that left foot, but also kind of pulling it in. Think like bridges on the carriage, on the reformer, and you're trying to keep the carriage close. We've got two and one. Go ahead and fold that knee in, place the foot down. Lift those hips back up if you let them drop. Energy down into your right foot, left knee into the chest. Go straight up. We kick it down and up. Keep everything hugging towards your midline here. So don't let that left leg wander out to the side. And keep driving that pubic bone up to the ceiling. You got it. Stretch the leg out and away. Out and away. We've got three and two. And one, fold the knee in, place the foot down, and now carefully just bring your knees into your chest, slide the barrel away, so now your hips are on the mat, and let your legs rest over the barrel, and let the mat feel like a mat again, let your spine just kind of flatten out, and then even turn your head from right to left. I love doing that because I know this dessert is coming after. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and roll you up and we're gonna do a little baby extension. So we don't need your pole anymore, we are done with it. You're gonna come in front of your step, okay? So <clears throat> you're gonna lie down on top, your toes are tucked under and they're digging into the mat. So right now, <clears throat> my pubic bone, when I kind of curl it in, I can make a, a little bit of a connection with the barrel. This is gonna take some adjusting, right, depending on your body. All right, so hands are kind of underneath your shoulders. I'm just gonna let my head rest. My feet are about hip socket-ish distance apart. I want you to push down into your hands and then just lift yourself up. So just come up into like a little baby swan here keeping the tailbone reaching long, and then just lower yourself back down. All right, let's do that again. Push into the hands, feel the heart reach forward, the chest roll open, and then lower yourself all the way back down. So on this one, I want you to get the sensation like your arms are pulling you forward as you lift up. Bring those ribs with you. Lift, 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 lift and then keep that pulling sensation as you lower all the way down. All right, so think like your armpit muscles are activating, your side body muscles are kicking on. Pull yourself forward, but drive your heels back, and then lift yourself up. Again, pull yourself, I'm even feeling my triceps kick on a little bit. 
hold here, just hold. Feel that lift, that heart opening, and then just lengthen all the way down. Down, down, don't you worry, we will do more extension later. It was just your little baby prep. So, now I'm gonna come in kneeling into this step. It's not gonna be a huge movement, right, because of this placement. You're about hip socket distance apart. I'm gonna find this push down into whatever connection into my shins into the step that I can. And I'm gonna feel my tailbone lengthen down and my hip points kind of lift up to my ribs. Reach the arms straight out in front of you. And just hold here for a second. Just feel the work, right? Now I'm kind of shaking, just finding balance. And now try not to fall over as those arms press down and back. They kind of reach back past your heels behind you. And then turn your head to the right turn your head to the left and then turn your head to center and then reach those arms back out in front. I want you to feel like the back of your knees are sliding up your thighs. Let's do that again. Strong arms presses down and away. Feel like they're hugging in towards your center line. You get taller as you turn your head to the left, get taller as you turn your head to the right come back to center, arms reach out in front of you. Two more times here, let's add the breath hold. So pull the arms down and back, big inhale. Keep the breath, if you can, turn side. Turn side, back to center, and then exhale all of your breath, arms reach forward. Keep the press down through the shins, you got this. Pull the arms down and back, big inhale, big puff up of the chest. Turn side, turn side. Back to center and then exhale everything out. All right, so now you're kind of come seated on your right side for a little bit of side kicks. My favorite. All right, so <clears throat> I'm gonna make sure my foot can be on this mat here. So my top leg is straight and reaching far away from me. My forearm is kind of hugging into the barrel. Now, depending on you, shoulder mobility, how hard you wanna make things, you can be higher up. This is gonna be a little bit harder, but easier on the shoulder. The lower down can be harder, but easier on the hip. Take your pick, all right? So, bottom arm is pulling into the barrel. My top hand, I'm just gonna push it down, okay? I'm gonna find this long line, this lift of my ribs off the barrel, and just think of them getting light. And now, can you from here just hover that top leg up? and just hold, all right? Check that your hip is not rolling back, all right? I like to think of it rolling forward even, and then just lower that leg down. All right, let's do that again. Keep that long line, keep the waist long, lift the heel or the leg and hold, two, three, and then lower the leg down. Think of that foot being up against a wall, all right? So when you lift it up, it has to get longer to stay connected and then lower the leg back down. We have two more like this and then we're gonna do some kicks. So you lift and you lower. One more time, we lift and you lower. All right, so now we lift that leg up, we hold it lifted, we sweep it forward and then point the toes, we sweep it back. We flex the foot, we sweep it forward, point the toes, sweep it back. Now, when you're doing this, this bottom leg is working very hard. So I want you to think of that bottom heel digging down into the floor. All right, last one here. Now we're gonna add a little twist. So take that top hand behind your head if it's available. Sweep your leg forward. Open up your chest to the ceiling. Oh, she's got a little pop. As the leg goes forward now, you're gonna spiral your body towards the barrel and then leg goes forward, upper body spirals towards the ceiling, just don't fall off your barrel. And then twist, 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 twist. Remember that bottom arm stays active, it's pulling into you, right? There's your star, there's your side plank. We've got three, make that leg longer. This is two. Try to keep that leg parallel the whole time, that top leg. Last one. And then get longer in that last twist. Reach, 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 reach. And then go ahead and just find center and then lower the leg down. All right, let's turn over and do the other side. If you can, try to find that same position with the arm that's on the barrel. 
So top leg is reaching far and away. There's a hard flex of that foot. Do what you want with that top hand to start and then feel that the sides of your neck are long and stay long and now just lift the leg up and down. Lift the leg up and down. So you might be looking at me thinking, well, she's not lifting very high. Well, that's just where I'm at today. Maybe you could go up higher, but just remember we're not sinking into the barrel. So the ribs, think of them just staying light and lifted. And to add in a little extra to this side, I want you to really pull that pinky toe back towards your shin, especially as you lift the leg up. We've got three, hang in there and two, and one. Now we sweep the leg forward, point the toes, sweep it back, find hip extension. Remember that bottom leg is active. And for these first few, your torso stays relatively still. Check your neck, check your shoulders. Remember that leg is trying to touch the walls of the room. Let's do three. Try to keep that low back open and long, especially as the leg goes back. I don't even remember what number I said, but let's make this two. <laughs> and then this is your last one. And now take your hand behind your head, sweep the leg forward, open up your chest to the wall, or sorry, to the ceiling. Leg goes back, you twist towards the floor, keep the head pushing up into the hands. Leg goes forward, you twist open, open, open. <sighs> Breathe into those tight places. <sighs> and just check that that leg stays parallel as it goes forward. If you're really tight in your hips, maybe find a little internal rotation as it goes forward. Just play around with how that feels. Oh, this is definitely my weaker side. It feels so, so heavy. Let's do two. Last one, make that leg longer, push it away, away, away. Go ahead and just find center, square yourself off and then lower that leg down. Alrighty, so let's come up seated now, kind of on this step. Keep your hands behind you and then take your right ankle over your left knee. Now, if you're already feeling enough of a stretch, you stay here. Otherwise, push into your hands and maybe try to sit up a little bit taller, but feel that right knee draw down to the floor, whatever leg you have that's getting stretched. And just breathe all the way down into that hip. All right, and now take that foot down, left ankle over your right knee or your opposite side. <sighs> Feel like you're rooting down through both hips. Push into the arms to lift up, grow tall. All right, now go ahead and take that foot down and just let your hips sit into this step or into that groove. Bring the soles of your feet together and just either grab onto your feet or your ankles, your legs, wherever, and then just pull yourself forward, round forward. If you're on a Cadillac, you can even kind of grab underneath your Cadillac here. And just rock back and forth. Just release the low back, release the hips, get a little inner thigh stretch. And then just go ahead and stack your spine all the way up. Alrighty, so now we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to our extension. You're gonna lower yourself down to where your pubic bone is a little bit more on the apex, whereas before we had it behind the apex. So <clears throat> my hands are kind of underneath my shoulders. I'm just gonna lower all the way down. Let your forehead rest into the mat. Let the legs just kind of hang behind you and just let your, your hips or your low back kind of release here. All right, so zip your legs up together. Start to find that inner thigh line. Point out through the toes and then feel your pubic bone kind of reach in towards the barrel. 
And so feel that activation already through the back of the legs. I want you to push into your hands and just lift yourself all the way up. So straighten your arms, find extension here. So just like we did earlier, I want you to feel like you're pulling your body forward. So that should open up your collarbones and just keep the legs exactly where they're at and just bend your elbows and just lower your chest back down. Let's do that again. Pull your body forward. So think length over height when doing extension and then bend into the elbows, lower yourself down, down, down. All right, now we're gonna add on. So you lift up. Now, before you start to bend the elbows, can you first lift the legs? Then you dive forward. Keep lifting the legs as your chest goes forward and then push into those arms. Resist the legs from falling as you come all the way back up. Let's do that again, all right? Lift the legs, dive the chest forward. Can you lift the legs up higher? And then push into those arms, lift yourself all the way up, getting taller at the top. All right, now we're gonna add in some kicks. So dive down, right? Remember, you're not resting at the bottom, lift the legs, bend the knees, think hamstring curls, send the legs long out back behind you, push yourself all the way back up, up, up. Again, chest goes forward, legs lift, bend the knees, reach the toes to the sky as they extend out long, and then lift yourself all the way up, up, up. Last one like this. Dive forward, open up the collarbones, lift the legs, bend the knees, straighten the legs out long, and now click the heels together as you come all the way up, 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 up. Beautiful, tuck the toes under. And now push into the arms, pike the hips up, and then just be mindful of the barrel, of course, and just walk yourself all the way in to where your hips are over your feet, and then just roll yourself all the way up, up, up. You may not be able to see my head, that's okay, because we're gonna come down in a second. All right, so feet are about hip socket distance apart, all 10 toes are pointing forward. Reach the arms up to the sky, take a big expansive breath in, and then on your exhale, nod your chin, you're gonna roll down, roll down, find your hands to the floor first, let your head hang heavy, and now start to walk your hands up onto the barrel, find the top of the apex, and then find the top of your plank, right? <clears throat> and then pause here. Feel the lift up through the sternum, the length out through the crown of your head, the heels pushing back. And now think a little up stretch. So nod your chin, lift up through the upper ribs, or sorry, the low ribs, <laughs> send your hips back, lower your heels down, and now lift your heels up, kind of slink your body forward. Find that strong plank here at the top, feel your heart reach forward, and now nod your chin, lift up through the upper abdominals, kind of slink your body back, drop the heels down, and now lift the heels up, feel that tailbone drop, Slink your body forward. Now, can you find a little extension? So reach your chest forward, let your hips drop, but keep them active. And now nod your chin, push into those arms. Lift up through the stomach. Send the heels back. Let's do that again. Slink the body forward. Find that same armpit sensation like you did with your swan, nod your chin, push into those arms, roll yourself back, drop the heels down. All right, so now I want you to step your right foot to the side of the barrel here. Go into this deep lunge, drive the hips forward, and then roll that chest open. And now find more of a flat back, push into the arms, step your foot back, left foot comes forward. Drive yourself forward. Try to keep that front heel down for as long as you can. And then step the foot back. Let's do it again. Go for that forward lunge. Keep pushing down through that right heel. And then step the foot back. Left foot goes forward. And then step the foot back. All right, we're gonna do that again. Right foot comes forward. 
Now I want you to think more weight into your legs, less weight into your arms here, all right? So find this kind of low runner's lunge. If you can, take your hands off of the barrel, reach them out in front of you, reach the arms up to the sky, take your hands now behind the base of your skull. So if you're like, no lady, not happening today, keep your hands right here on the barrel, no worries, okay? So find your head to hand connection. Your front heel is going to lift and lower. Front heel is gonna lift and lower. That front knee, think of it staying right over the center of your foot. You have three and two and one. Lower the heel down. We keep the same position with your lower half. Round up and over. Think spine stretch, but your body's just doing a lunge. And then from tail to crown, stack it all the way back up. Again, round up and over. Pull the ribs back as your head goes forward. And then again, tail to crown, stack it all the way back up, up, up. I don't care if the back knee is bent or straight, you pick up and over. Drop your tailbone down. And then come all the way back up. Keep the sides of your neck long. You have one more like this, up and over. Hang in there. I'm a shaking. I feel it. And then come all the way back up. Shave the arms up to the ceiling. Hands are going to come down back to that barrel. Step your right foot back. Left foot comes forward. Yippee, we have a whole nother side. So get yourself situated. Get light in your hands. Kind of stack your spine all the way up. Hands come behind the base of your skull. We stay pretty stable with everything else. Front heel lifts and lowers. Front heel lifts and lowers. All right, try to keep those ribs drawing in. Head pushes back into your hands. And equal weight into the balls of your feet. We have three. You got it. And two. And last one. Foot comes down, round up and over. You're being punched in the gut and the ribs and then stack your spine all the way up. I personally find when my back knee is bent here, I get a deep stretch in the front of my thigh, which I'm kind of craving here lately. Again, up and over, up and over. Pull those ribs back and then stack all the way back up. We have one more here. Up and over, elbows wide, elbows wide. You got it. Come all the way back up. Shave the arms back up to the sky. Round up and over, hands come back to the top of the barrel. Step your foot back, and now just tiptoe walk your feet all the way in. And then just staying here for a second, let your head drop. And now bend your right knee as you kind of stick that left hip out to the side. And then bend your left knee, stick that right hip out to the side. And then other side again, bend your right knee. Now when you're sticking that left hip out, push into that left big ball of the foot, almost like you're rolling the foot in. And then other side, roll that right foot in as the hip sticks out. And now go ahead and find center. Carefully lower the knees down back into that step. And we're gonna finish with a little thigh stretch. So knees and shins are hip socket distance apart. Again, feel like the back of your knees are gliding up towards your butt creases. Reach the arms out in front of you. Push down through your shins. And now lean back a little bit. And then lift yourself up. And if you're in this position thinking, I don't like this, then just take it down to your mat, right? No worries. So lean back. And then come forward. It's so tiny. You lean back. And come forward. Little lean back, All right? There's your Nordic curl, hamstring curl. Last one here. Come all the way back up, find your plumb line. Take your hands back behind the base of your skull. Push the head up and into the hand, side bend over to the right. Lift that left elbow up, up, up. Come all the way back up through center. Left elbow goes up and over, right elbow lifts up to the ceiling. Open up that right side and then come all the way back up. One more time each side. Open up your chest, keep driving your pubic bone forward, and then lift all the way back up. Last one here, up and over. Lift that right elbow up, 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 and then come back to center. Shave the arms back up to the ceiling one last time. Open the arms out to the sides of the room, and you are done. Nice work today, y'all.